guys, so today I wanted to talk about different things that you can do to help with a meniscus tear. So basically a meniscus tear is when you twist your knee or leg really quickly and it tears. Some of the symptoms that you have when you get a meniscus tear is a popping sensation, swelling or stiffness, pain especially when twisting or rotating your knee, difficulty straightening your knee fully, and feeling as though your knee is locked in place when you try to move it. So I am pretty sure that I have a meniscus tear. Uh, one of my friends, she had one too, and what she did to test it was she went on this side of my body and she pulled it like this, and if you're able to resist it, it's you're fine, but if you can't, then that's what you have. And I was able to resist it a little bit and then I couldn't anymore, so I have a partial one. And I wanted to do this video to show you guys some exercises that you can do to help with the pain. So the first exercise is going to involve a belt or a, what are these things called? So the first exercise is going to require a resistance band, which I don't have, so I am using a belt, which works just as well. So what, we're, what you're going to do is you're going to put your belt or your band, your fancy gut band, right Okay, and then you're going to stretch your leg all the way out. Oh my god, okay, that kind of hurt. Um, I just like twisted it all don't twist because that makes your meniscus tear worse. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your band on this part of your foot. You don't want to put it here or here. You want to put it like right here because we're not trying to stop ourselves in the face. You're going to pull it a little bit to where it doesn't hurt but you can feel it because that kind of hurts. So I'm going to here. And then boom. And then you just relax it and you're going to do that three times. <laughs> this is a comedy. I don't do this. I don't get tears and this hurts and I'm trying to make it better because it's been like three weeks and I haven't been doing anything on it. I stopped exercising and it still hurts so I'm like okay. We need to do some kind of stretches and I've done this a lot more than three times but the world needs it. Okay. And you're done. <laughs> Meniscus tear healed. <laughs> Not really. Alright, next exercise. You're going to be doing the same exact thing but you're going to lay down and let your booty show. So, <laughs> so <laughs> oh my god, stop. So you're going to lay down, sorry about the booty, and then you're going to stretch all the way out. And I am not flexible, so you're going to stretch it and pull it as far as you can. If you can go here, that's great, but i got to bend my knee. You're not supposed to bend your knee. you got to keep it straight, and this hurts very badly. But it's okay, because my meniscus needs to heal. Okay, you got to do it three times for 30 seconds. Three times, 30 seconds. Next exercise, you do not need your belt. Um, basically, you're going to put this leg all the way out and you can put this leg down or bend it, whatever. What you're going to do is you're going to push your knee down to the mat. Take your foot and you're going to put it back like this and put your knee down all the way. And you don't want to go like this. You want to push your knee down and you're going to lift it a little bit. I say for 30 seconds. Like, I feel like this is a good video because I actually have a meniscus tear right now, so extra cut it, please. I'm just kidding. Put it with you guys. Um, if it hurts really bad, you know, just try not to pull as hard on your knee, but do it as hard as you can comfortably to the ground. Alright, next exercise. This leg, do what you want with it, it's fine, it's chilling. It doesn't have a meniscus tear. What you're gonna do is you're gonna basically just do a heel slide. So you put your foot up like that and you just slide your knee. And this one is my favorite because it's nice, it's easy. Can't say it's not painful at all, but it's not as much pain. Okay, so first thing you're going to go in your tummy tum and you're going to keep your hips on the mat. And then you're just going to lift up your leg like this. Make sure you straighten your foot out, because I wasn't doing that at first. And then just, I don't know, it doesn't hurt that bad to me. I don't feel like that's the exercise for me. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad exercise. I mean, it's a good Exercise number six. Let me watch this real quick. Five minutes later. Okay, so apparently this is going to look easy, but actually be very difficult. So get ready for that. Um, I'm not. <laughs> Kinda of nervous about it. Uh, and what you're gonna do uh, is you're gonna put your legs together and you go like this and you're put them up. Just that motion hurt my meniscus. So you're gonna go like this and 
in. So you want to make sure your hips are straight up from the ceiling. You don't want to go like this. Don't be lazy. Yeah, you go like this. If you want your meniscus to heal, you got to do what I'm saying. Thank you very much. If you need to lean your booty up against the wall to make sure that your lazy tail does not go like this, then do that. I'm pretty sure mine's going to because I'm lazy. We'll see. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take, I love how I'm like half off the mat. You're going to take this knee and you're going to lift it. And I should be probably showing you this motion right now, but I'm really scared. Okay, okay. All right. Go like this. Oh, but you can't. Ah, oh, you can't move your hips back. You gotta go like this. That hurts my back. What's up with that? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Because it doesn't hurt. Not my leg's shaking. <laughs> my leg's shaking, but I feel like it's just because I'm weak right now. It's good exercise. Ugh, that one's funny. Hope this was beneficial. I hope this helped you. If you have a meniscus tear, I'm going to start doing these exercises to help with my tear. A meniscus tear usually takes a couple months to heal, so now I'm going to start exercising and icing it and elevating it to help with it. So, thank you for watching. Hope I get an A. Hope this was uh, fun to watch and 